Hello, hello everyone, and I am Mark Andrew Cordero from the Don Bosco Youth Center Kaluha, a first year college student uh, taking up Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, and I will be the one to give you a good night talk. So let's begin with my journey before I became uh, a youth member of the Don Bosco Youth Center Kaluha. So this all started with me and my, uh, my author server friend because we came from another church and uh, we were invited by Father Jay, uh, one of the priests of uh, Don Bosco and Kaluha. So we were invited, and as we are on that camp, that uh, it was a three-day camp. So for those three days, we've had uh, fun. We've had prayers. We've had talks and confessions. But as that uh, particular camp was go uh, ongoing. It was also mentioned to me and my friend, my co-author server, that um, there was an oratory in Kaluba, which is the Del Bosco Youth Center Kaluba. And after that camp, after the, that three nights, two days, two days and three nights, and after, after a couple of weeks, I think um, one or two weeks, something like that, uh, we have decided to join and be part of it. Uh, and yeah, that's most likely most of it. And yeah, but now for our topic, very good night talk. We have, as a Wisconsin youth, what are the things that you want to give thanks to the most? The most? So, <coughs> excuse me, there are a lot of things. Uh, this video clip would have been enough for that, but uh, I will be pointing out some of the most important things that I wanted to give thanks to Don Bosco and Scott especially. One of those is that it changed me as, uh, as a whole person myself. Um, my physical and my spiritual self, it really changed a lot. It meant, it meant a lot to me, yeah. Because when I was in primary school, uh, as far as I remember, I'm not that prayerful type of, uh, person. I, I'm not that kind of person that goes to church or something. Uh, that's not likely to be me. And now, uh, I do go to church uh, as regular as possible that I can. But due to the pandemic right now, we can't. We can go to church physically, but we can attend virtually, and yeah, that's that's what makes me thankful to God because or to the gospel also, because if not for for them, not well, if not for me getting to know them, I would have been like this. I would have been um, a person whose life is very miserable without knowing God, without knowing God gospel. And this, I can say, has a big impact in my life with regards to my spirituality. And I'm very thankful for that. I really, really think that Bosco and God for giving me people that is uh, ready to 
sacrifice all the adults for the for the youth. They were very happy with that. And that's most of it. So we have a very very limited time. I hope that my story uh, when I talk to all of you uh, has inspired you somehow and let's make sure to be safe always because of the pandemic uh, so all stay hydrated and you're all in my prayers and have a good night so that's all and goodbye